Hi, how are you? I am well, how are you? Yeah, good. Thanks for doing this and taking the time. No problem at all. My pleasure. All right. So let's get started. What is your name? How old are you? And what do you do as a job? I am. My name is Kirsty. I'm 45 years old and I work at Woolworths. I do cool. online. Oh, okay. What is your role um, and or responsibilities in your job? Okay. So I am the assistant online manager of Woolworths Horsham. Um, and the responsibilities are that I basically, I pick online orders for the day. I'm in charge of a team of pickers. Um, we have to fill in reports, we have to do audits, and basically it's just fulfilling orders right. for the day. So you're the person that goes around and collects everyone's online orders? Yes, I am. So are you in charge, or is the picker in charge of making sure it is packed and sent out or do you have to yeah so thing? so when the customer puts the order in uh we walk around with a little scanner gun and we scan barcodes in we have to pack the bags we have to check to make sure that um especially fresh produce is fresh and nice and not bruised or anything like that we have to pack it all properly and we all have we have to do it all within a time frame Oh, what time frame is it like per customer type of time frame? Um, generally speaking, it, it's broken down into windows. Um, and we, like today, for example, we had 53 orders to pick in a seven hour period. Oh. So, yeah, we, we run a lot. Um, we can pick up to six customers at a time in one trip around the store. Um, but the little scanner gun tells us what to pick where to find it in the store and where to like which customer it's for right um it's just a matter of keeping it within like keeping it in that correct customer's order yeah so yeah all right how long have you been in your current job um so this is a brand new role for me um i've only been given this role in the last week or two but i've been picking an online at woolworths for the last 12 months and I've worked at Woolworths for 18 months. Right. Is this your first job? What did you do before and why did you change? Um, no, this is not my first job. This is a new job for me. Prior to this, I owned my own business. I had a catering company. Um, I am a fully qualified chef and I sold my catering company because I was a bit tired of working 16 hour days, seven days a week, 52 weeks of the year. Yeah. Um, I would just had enough and health reasons. I had to sell my catering company. So yeah. yeah. What subjects did you do at high school? Why did you choose these? And did they link to what you wanted to do? So yes, in high school, I'd only ever wanted to be a chef from the time I was 12. So the subjects I chose were very much related to food and the health of the body. Uh, so I did, well, it's a long time ago now, but I did home economics, which is food technology, I think. Um, I did health. So I learned about the muscles and all that sort of stuff. I uh, did English and maths. Um, and then I did other like psychology and stuff just to see what it was like. But yeah. Yeah. Cool. What, um, why did you choose these and did they link to what you wanted to do? Yeah, you um, so yeah, I, I did choose them based on the fact that I had a love of food um, and that was the line I wanted to go into. And yes, it all definitely helped me into yeah. my career as a chef. Yeah. Did you have to do any extra study once you left school to get your job? Um, what did you do? Yes. So, maybe, so when I left school. Yeah. To answer that in retrospect of chef and then now as Safeway. Yep, yeah. So when I left school, um, I got an apprenticeship as a chef um, and that required on-the-job training. So I worked in a kitchen full-time and then I did have to go to trade school to do a theory sort of and practical side of it, which you needed to do in order to get your certificate. Um, with Woolworths, no, no sort of subjects at school were required. Um, I got the job based on the fact that I've worked for a long time and 
um, they supply all on the job training that you require um, in the senses of safety and chemicals and cleaning and, yeah. you know, everything that you need training wise Woolworths provides for you. Yeah. Cool. Um, what qualifications do you have for your job? And that you sort of just answered that and how did you get the yeah. qualifications? So you just yeah. said that. So, yeah. So with, with cooking, it was a four year apprenticeship. Uh, I think it's three now. Um, and with Woolworths, no qualifications required. So, yeah. yeah. Um, but you said that they do any, if you want to, so yeah. climb the ladder they do in-house training yeah um, absolutely you have to do so, like modules like safety and you you were mentioning yeah, before like the you, covid thing that there's a new do you have to do special training modules for covid understanding and all yeah safety and all that yeah so they send um training modules out that we have to do uh we get refresher courses every six months on everything from selling tobacco to scanning products to um dealing with troublesome customers right um before you start at Woolworths you have to do a course on uh chemical safetyness safety because we use chemicals in cleaning in the deli and the bakery and things like that so we have to pass all of those with a hundred percent yeah oh, pass 100%. rate percent hundred percent pass rate how how many options do you get to try that like oh no they let you they let you try multiple times okay. until you get 100%. Okay. And sometimes there's even cheat sheets. They have all the answers there for you. So, really? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So you can just give us a ballpoint or you can do an hourly or whatever, how honest you want to be, but how much do you earn? Um, I earn at the moment, I think it's around $22 an hour. It's not a great deal, um, but I do get paid penalties. Okay. So public holiday rates, everything like that, I get paid. So, yeah. Yep. yep. And is there high employment opportunities in your field? Yes, there is. Um, Woolworths is always looking for people. Um, and within the Woolworths company, there's many, many, so many different levels of where you can go. Yep. Um, from being a checkout chick to picking online to working in the deli to going out of the stores and being in an office where you design recipes using oh. products at Woolworths and how do you get like into that? that? Why aren't you doing that? Given you used to be a chef, <laughs> um, because those jobs are all in Sydney, and um, I'm not willing. I to just didn't want to do that. Yeah. yeah. So, all right. Yeah. How did you get your job? Where did you look? Um, so I, um, when I sold my company I put my name down on those um like career websites like seek and things yes. like that and a job came up telling me that I would be suitable for a job at Woolworths and I applied online and got my job that way all right what is hard about your job the time constraints um I you don't stop running for yep. the whole day you have to deal with troublesome customers Yep. Um, which can put a lot of pressure on you because they are grumpy and they will take it out on you and you have to stay calm and polite. be nice and polite and you have yeah. to try and help them in any way you can. Yep. Um, so there are a lot of time constraints, is particularly in my job. Um, so, yeah, that's where the pressure lies in that point. All right. What do you like about your job? Yay. Um. Oh, I, love, I just love my job. Um, I like doing the other people's shopping. Yeah. It's very, very weird, but no, I do. not at all. Um, I, I love walking around love, the supermarkets looking at what's on the shelf and stuff. I love it. I, I, I like sort of looking at the new products we get in. Um, I love the people I work with. I have a great deal of fun. Um, and but generally, with my history of food and being a chef, I am always intrigued by the products that we sell and the products that people buy. Yeah, you know, 
sort of. Do you ever try and guess and... what food, what meals they're yep. eating? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> like, oh, if I was, if, if this was my shopping basket, this is what I'd buy. Yeah. I'd make yeah. dinner. You sort of sit there and, you know, you pick a packet of pasta and then you pick a sauce here and a thing there and you're like, oh, I know what they're having. And <laughs> I used to do it when I worked on the checkouts too. I'd be scanning things and say, oh, are you making this? And they're like, well, how did you know that? And I'm like, well, based on your ingredients. And yeah, yeah, oh, that's funny. the joys of being a chef. Yeah. All I do is think about food all yeah. day long. So, yeah. What traits would someone have to have to be in your job? Um, you need to be relatively, uh, well, you need to have initiative to work on your own. Obviously, you need to be able to work as part of a team. Uh, you need to be fairly relaxed because when people do get grumpy with you, you know, you need to be able to keep you calm and yeah. work through it and you need to be organised. Okay. Cool. So, yeah. Where can your job take you? Like, can you um, travel? Can you climb the ladder? Can you... Absolutely. So, within the store, my job can lead into becoming the manager of online and also to manager of front end where I would be in charge of um, all the staff on cash registers and stuff like that. Um that can then also lead into assistant store manager and store manager should the roles open up. Uh, within the company, I can travel anywhere. I can actually transfer between any Woolworth store in Australia and New Zealand. Oh, wow. So we can move anywhere in Australia and New Zealand within Woolworths. Yeah. Um, and so that opens up so many options. Um, and obviously there are other jobs up the line like you can become the union representative and then you can go further up and go into head office and become yep. state managers and things like that so cool yeah awesome thank you thanks for cool. your time. no worries at all you did no really well you. i know you were nervous but you did fine <laughs> thank you <laughs>